Hi, Stella. This is Olivia Dvorak, and I am from the class of 2014. So actually, I've made this video twice now. The first time, I made a 30-minute long video, and at the very end, it said, unable to save your file. So I tried again, thinking, okay, if I make a 15-minute video, it will save it. Well, 15 minutes later, and it deleted it. So let's try this for the third time. So like I said, my name is Olivia Dvorak, and um, I'm from the class of 2014. I went into Franciscan in the fall of 2009. Um, so I actually spent a fifth year at Franciscan, super senior, superstar, like what I like to say. Um, so just a little bit about my journey um, to Stella. Um, so when I was in high school, I was a uh, part of a very popular group of young ladies, um, which is interesting because I'm giving a talk on the profound humility. But anyways, so I was a part of this group and we um, were just like, did some things that, like the group did things that I didn't agree with, but I wanted to be known and I wanted to be liked. So I was um, very involved with them. And then my senior year, actually my junior year, my mom um, lost a baby um, at 26 weeks. And when that happened, my world kind of crumbled around me. And then my senior year basically lost all my friends and kind of felt like the world was just like ending. Um, you know, a senior in high school, you don't have friends anymore, you're no longer a part of your friend group, and you just kind of feel lost. So I went to Franciscan in the fall of 2009, and immediately um, was on the Handmaid's Wing, and fell in love with the Handmaids. And it was more the sense of community than anything that I fell in love with, just knowing that people cared about me, because they were very intentional about asking me to come to things, and events, and commitments, and whatnot. So got very interested and actually talked to the coordinator and tried to intent. And she said to me that she would like me to go look at three other households before I intended to handmaids. So I had heard about Stella, but obviously um, in my mind, Stella was like the huge popular group and I wanted nothing to do with people that were popular um, at that point in my life. So I um, just like wrote off Stella completely, 110%. So I was going to some commitments and um, was actually on my way to a Love of the Lambs commitment and ran into a group of girls outside on the piazza in a circle and they asked me if I wanted to join them for Lord's Day. And I sat down and I remember sitting there and being like, oh, this is cool. And then someone said, welcome to Stella Lord's Day. And I was like, oh crap, how can I get myself out of this? And actually like thought about the most like best way I could get myself out of it and just couldn't find, figure out anything. So I was like, okay, I'll just sit here, I'll go through it, go through the motions and then leave. After it was over, um, somebody who I can't remember now, but you probably can remember, took me upstairs to um, sell a wing and gave me a uh, covenant and told me about the commitments and told me to go home and read, go back to my dorm and read the covenant. So I actually that night remember sitting in my dorm room with Handmaid's Covenant in one hand and Stella Covenant in the other hand and just kind of was like, God, where do you want me? And it was in that moment, actually, like the first time I actually felt God's love was reading the Stella Covenant. And it was just like so, I don't know what the word is, in, invigorating to realize that like God loved me and like it was calling me to love him in a deeper way and in a way that I didn't know. And it was a way to love him through Stella and through our Blessed Mother. So um, that's kind of, the rest is history, fall of 2010 with the best Twinkle class ever. Um, I, there were only five of us. I became a star of Mary. And um, I think that something that I realized that I didn't realize in the moment was that household was gonna help me more outside of college than it was actually inside of college. So I'll explain a little bit more about that as I go through um, the virtues that I'm gonna talk about today. But without household's foundation and the foundation at Franciscan University in general, I would not be where I am right now. So I'm gonna to talk today about profound humility and universal mortification. But before I do that, I just wanna um, say that I think my favorite part of household when I was in household was the community of household. And then just like the things that the girls that were older than me had and the ways that they called me on to holiness. And here's what I mean. like. 
I remember sitting there in that common room. You know, there were at one time there was like 57 of us, like so many. I'm sitting there and I remember just looking around and seeing people like, um, let's see, like Ashley Brashear and um, Julia Weiss. And um, I just remember like looking up at them and just being like, wow, like I want what y'all have. Or like Aaron Wilson and um, just girls that I really admired and admired what they believed in and how they lived out. Stella. I mean, they were lady lights and warriors and sorry for name dropping, but you know, if I don't name you, it's not that I don't like you, but, um, you know, people like Olivia Spears and Caitlin, um, Smith, who I wound up actually rooming with. So people like that, that were just role models to me that were like close to my age. And I never realized that you could have, um, such strong role models, just a couple years older than you. So that was like really, really impactful for me. And even impacts me today because my best friends are all from Stella. You know, the girls that I talk to on a daily, weekly basis are from Stella. So hold on to that community aspect of Stella and never forget that um, God has God has ordained this and he um, has put you, them in your life and you in their lives for a reason. So um, in talking about profound humility today, it's kind of funny because I kind of chuckled whenever I saw that profound humility and universal mortification were together because if anyone knew me in college, they would probably not say that I probably should not give the profound humility talk, okay? So I would say that, and I can admit this, that I sometimes am not the most humble person. You know, in college, there are a lot of times that um, I like to one-up people because that's just kind of how my family has always worked. There were five of us and we kind of always one-up to one another, um, very passionate about what we do and always wanted to be the best. So there were a lot of times that I think that I probably was not the best person at humility. So the first question is like, what is humility? So I like St. Bernard of Clairvaux says, um, when asked about like your prayer life, what's the most important part of prayer? And he said, the three most important parts. He said, humility, humility, humility. So, you know, we hear, hear the words like humiliation and we wonder like, okay, does it stem from that or what? Um, or, wow, that was really humbling whenever that person did that to me, whatever. So humility really is just the idea of seeing God the way that, or seeing ourselves the way that God sees us. So the way that God sees us is the way that we should view ourselves. And I know that's hard sometimes. It's hard to grasp and it's hard to see. Um, you know, Saint, Saint, C.S. Lewis says, um, humility is not thinking less of yourself, it's thinking of yourself less. So it's taking um, time to think about others. You know, that kind of like youth ministry thing, joy, Jesus, other yourself, but it's really true, like putting Jesus first, putting others second, and putting yourself third. And humility really, again, like I said, is thinking of yourself the way that God sees you, like seeing yourself the way God sees you. So long story short, throughout high college, I seem to be um, lack humility in a lot of ways. So when I graduated college, I actually found myself um, pivoting to the very opposite side. So like a virtue is right in the center. So humility is like the, the virtue of humility is the center mark. So if you go too far to the right, like you're going too far to the left, whatever, either way it's pride. So, but the other way I found myself like just, you know, degrading myself and everything and just thinking like, okay, so in order to be a humble person, I have to be like, you're the worst. Like you're ugly. You're stupid. You're, you're fat. You're, you know, like all these things like that are, that were so negative that were driving me to live this more negative life. And I thought that that was humility. I thought that I, because I was like, oh, calling myself out about these things that I was becoming more humble um, when really it turned into scrupulosity and um, it's taken me a while to get over that and to work through it and continue to work through it but basically what happened was I was like putting myself down and I was like very insecure about my faith because of it um, so just remembering that humility isn't being like I'm 